It is Raspberry Pi Day. I've been wanting to try one of these kits for a while. I opted for the 8 gig kit on Amazon from Sanuv. I picked this kit specifically because it comes with the HDMI cables, power supply, and memory card, all of which I needed. I have Amazon Prime and it arrived in two days. Time to open the package and see what we actually got. Owner's manual, two HDMI cables, fan and heat sink, sixty four gig memory card, power supply, screwdriver. Memory card USB adapter. Here is the second HDMI cable. Case or enclosure. Last but not least, the actual Raspberry Pi computer. First thing I'm going to do is stick the rubber feet onto the bottom of the enclosure. Before we get too far into this video, my intention is not to do a step-by-step -step assembly guide. I just want to show everyone my experience with this Raspberry Pi kit. Next, I began attaching the Raspberry Pi main circuit board to the enclosure. You get four tiny screws and a tiny screwdriver. It is a straightforward process, but it can be difficult with the little screwdriver they give you. I highly recommend that you purchase a set of precision screwdrivers. I just looked and you can get a small set for $6 on Amazon. After switching to my own tools, I got the main board secured well. The fan comes with these sticky pads. They go on the flat side of the heat sink. The cable for the fan plugs into the main circuit board. It took me a little time to figure out how to correctly plug it in, but I eventually did get it. The fan attaches to the motherboard with plastic spring-loaded spacers and as you can see I was able to get it put together. Now that we have the Raspberry Pi kit assembled, I'm going to attempt to boot it. I'm not sure the best way to film this, so I have the Raspberry Pi in my living room connected to the HDMI port on my television set. It's starting the boot process and eventually asks me to click next to continue. On the next screens, I'm selecting a language, default browser, and eventually it's going to connect to my Wi-Fi. This is very exciting. After all that hard work, the Pi is up and running. I'm starting a browser and bringing up my YouTube channel. It's running pretty fast. In fact, it seems faster than my PC or Chromebook. I would definitely say mission accomplished. I have a long road ahead of me learning to program with the Raspberry Pi and learning everything else it can do. As far as the Sanuv kit from Amazon goes, I would highly recommend it. It has basically everything I needed to get started. The only thing else I used was my own keyboard, mouse, monitor, and screwdriver. I also had to use my PC to put the operating system on the memory card. I was going to rate the kit an A, but I'm going down to B+, only because I did not like the screwdriver that Sanuv supplied. Let me know in the comments what you think of the kit and what I should try first with the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Like this video and subscribe to my channel.
kitchen, pour myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch and try to come to life.